months ago, I had something top secret that I didn't tell you about. Polly End had sent me a early copy of the Play Plus, and they asked me to write some synth patches for it. And so when you buy your new Play Plus that now has synthesizers in it, you will be getting those patches that I wrote. So let's listen to a few of them, and then I will go through a recreation of an o song and show a little bit of how it works. This is the virtual analog polysynth that does a nice O-Tecker string. This Blade Runner patch is, is a good one to just show the synth and how you edit it. So this is where you choose your synth. You choose synth, and then you can have three synths at one time. And But there's four models, four possible models you could choose for each of those three. And in this case, I'm choosing the Virtual Analog Poly. And so I've got the patch here, Blade Runner. And so I can go down to Edit Patch. And there I can select between two oscillators. In this case, I've got two saw oscillators. So that's with a setting of 50 on the two oscillators. And you can change that to like 100 and get a full square. Then you can mix between the two. If you had a saw and a square, you could mix them. And you have pulse width that you can change, tune of each independent oscillator. And I'm doing two things to give it the phasey sound that the CS80 had with the Blade Runner patch. I'm detuning the two saw waves. And in addition to that, two different pitches of the saw waves. So it gives a kind of phasey sound there and you get that CS80 sound. So let's take a look at the further features of it past detune here. So you've got oscillator one and two reset, noise, and fine tune there of the whole patch. Then you get into the filter. You've got several different types of filters. So you could have a Moog filter, uh, OB filter, state variable filter, and various high pass, band pass, notch, and note tracking of the filter. Then you've got, you actually have three envelopes to use. You've got one you can use for your amp, ADSR there. Then you've got one that you probably would use for your filter. Then there are the settings for the different waveforms you can have for your LFOs. And then you get into the third envelope. It's called envelope two, but it's the third envelope you can use for maybe a pitch envelope or some, some different effect. And then you get into the settings for LFO two. And you have portamento. And you have macros. So these controls on the front of the Play Plus 
can make up your own macros and name them whatever you want to name them for a lot of these uh, encoders here. So you have some live performance control over your patch. Yeah, as you can hear, this ACD synth model is very SH-101-like. So here we are doing some O-Tecker type of stuff on the Poly and Play Plus, and it does lend itself to this type of thing. You know, form follows function. And if you wanted something to do O-Tecker, there are several things you would need on it. And this gives you all of those things. So you would need the ability to tune the drums and to see each track of drums, what it was doing. And you'd need to see the track length for the polymeter, you would need to be able to see the rhythm of it for the polyrhythm. And you can do all that right here. You can see, you can visually see the whole beat and what it's doing. And you would need to, you know, be able to tune each note and see what note each one was on by touching it. And it gives you that. You would need the repeats that are characteristic of Otecker, um, sometimes called ratchets, but on here it's repeats, and you have various types that you can do. And listening to it, it's not staccato like the original, so I'm going to select that entire track, and I'm going to go here to Sample End, and I'm going to change the Sample End. You can do some sample editing on here of the start and end, and there's an envelope on your sample as well. I'm going to get that staccato sounding sample from the original. Something like that. And then I've got the same sample on the next track. Higher up. And the snare. Yeah, you heard those repeats a lot in Otecker music, and those are very easy to do on here with this repeat. And you have various types, like uh, some you've heard in AFX where it kind of is a repeat that kind of fades in in volume. Yeah, you got those... Uh, toms that go from side to side. Easily done on here. You just tap the volume and you got your panning right there. You can see that one's left, right, left again. If I wanted to, I could easily do some polymeter on every other track or something like that. Just go here to the track length and do that. And you can see every other track is shortening up. It could be any length I want it to be. There are also tons of different modes of play. So play mode like forward, reverse, uh, skip various types of skipping around and uh, pixelizer type of stuff. <laughs>
It's definitely too much work for me to come up with a melody, so let's let the Poly N Play Plus write a little melody for my Bakuma sound. be a law that every device has to have side chain compression and play plus has it thanks for joining me for this look at the new play plus i'd always viewed it as a competitor for the roland tr8s though more geared toward idm because of the more experimental rhythms you can create and have the hands-on manipulation of and viewing of all the tracks at one time and now with the sense it definitely edges out the tr8s for me some of my patches didn't make it into the Play Plus, but any patches that you want will be available on my Patreon or just ask me for them. All the patches I made for the Play are free for everybody, so just ask. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.